or written words. <coughs> Two people choose to get married because they believe in the power of love. It's the source of all joy, the unifying strength which links us. Love is hearing a voice across the room and knowing that they are the one. Live your life together for what it truly is. The only shared life and love like it in all of history. Your story is being woven into the fabric of space and time. Let it grow and blossom. Treat each other kindly. Grow your love strongly and remember just how precious and how unique and how singular you both are. Sharon, would you please share your reading? Romans 12.10 be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Continue to encourage each other's curiosity, your sense of adventure and wonder. As you grow together, you will continue to explore and discover wonderful new things about yourselves, each other, and the world around you. Remember to stop and reflect on how amazing an experience that is. You and the love that you share are one of a kind. You two are about to choose each other to be companions through this beautiful and precious adventure that we call life. Your marriage will be a place of refuge and strength as you brave all the challenges that life will throw at you. You have already found that what seems impossible or awkward or terrifying alone can be nothing but bliss when it's done together. Corey? Will you have Amber to be your wife, your partner in life, your one true love? Will you cherish your friendship and love her through good times and bad? And as you've given her your hands to hold, do you also give her your life to keep as long as you both shall live? Amber, will you have Corey to be your husband, your partner in life, your one true love? Will you cherish his friendship and love him through good times and bad? And as you've given him your hands to hold, do you also give him your life to keep as long as you both shall live? I do. We've come to the point of your ceremony where you're going to say your vows to one another. But before you do that, I ask you to remember that love is rooted in trust and acceptance. It will be the foundation of an abiding and deepening relationship. No other ties are more tender, no other vows are more sacred than those that you now assume. If you are able to keep the vows that you make here today, not because of any religious or civic law, but simply out of the desire to love and be loved by another person fully without limitation, then your life will have joy, and the home that you establish will be a place in which you both will find the direction of your growth, your freedom, and your responsibility. Corey, would you repeat after me? I, Corey, take you Amber to be my wife. I, Corey, take you Amber to have and to hold, from this day forth, to love, honor, and cherish, to comfort and respect, in sorrow and in joy, in hardship and in plenty, as long as we both shall live. Amber, would you repeat after me? I, Amber, take you, Corey, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forth. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. To comfort and respect. In sorrow and in joy. In hardship and in plenty. As long as we both show live. The ring is a symbol of an unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end. It has no giver and no receiver because each is a given and each is a receiver. Corey, would you repeat after me as you place this ring on Amber's finger. Amber, I offer this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. Let it always be a reminder of my vows to you. I am her. Give this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. Let it always be a reminder of my vows to you.
There's perhaps nothing more worth celebrating than two people who have found their biggest share with her, their most trusted confidant, the one person in the world who is guaranteed to follow them into the big frightening question of what next. Today marks the start of your greatest adventure, your next big leap into the unknown. Your marriage is a blank page. I encourage you to fill it with as much color and as many stories as you can. And when you think that you've done all you can, decide that you can do even more than you ever thought you could. And as you hold each other's hands, I ask you to remember that these are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will join your families as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it, support and encouragement to pursue your dreams and comfort you through difficult times. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled in age, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Because you have desired each other in marriage, affirming your acceptance of the responsibility of such a union, you have pledged your love and your faith to each other, sealing your vows in the giving and the receiving of rings, and the power vested in me by the state of Texas, it is a privilege to now pronounce that you are married. May the pure, simple love with which you join hearts and hands today never fail. Corey, you may kiss your bride. Now, in, an honor to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Corey and Amber Dombrowski. Woo! Woo!